I'm near Austin, Texas at the Texas Truck Rodeo put on by the Texas Auto Riders Association. And check this out, the 2017 Ram Power Wagon. I cannot believe I finally get a chance to drive it and it's in Texas and the first off-road drive is coming up right now. So I've been waiting for this to drive the 2017 Ram Power Wagon. I mean, we've seen it at the auto shows and finally, here's my chance. Great to have you in there. So thank you. No problem. So what are the changes for this model here for 2017? So new for 17, we have a new front grille and bumper, uh -huh. um, powder coated front and rear bumpers and a new tailgate. Um, and then uh, we have new graphics on the hood and behind the C-pillar as mm -hmm. a heritage back to our 1970s and 1980s power wagons. Mm -hmm. Um, how about the mechanicals? They're the same from last year, right? Yeah, mechanicals are the same, so you still have the front and rear uh, locking axles, the sway bar disconnect, and the Bilstein shocks. So you still have your 6.4 liter Hemi, you still have 6-speed automatic, uh, front and rear lockers like you said, disconnecting sway bar, um, I mean these axles, what kind of axles are these? Uh, they are 410 four, four axle ratios. Yep. Yep. I mean, so when you gear down in low range, I mean, this truck can climb up pretty steep hills, right? Yeah, it will be no problem. The crawl ratio on this is 35 to 1 in 4 low. Of course, you have a new grill, but check this out. You got bed lining on the opening where the winch cable is. So when you're winching, you don't you don't scratch your bumper. You, you always try and instill a, a sense of safety and security with the with the vehicle and with the, the locking rear axle, front axle, uh, sway bar disconnect. Mm -hmm. You know you're always secure that the, the wheels are on the ground providing torque and braking when when needed. I just barely have the accelerator applied. The truck is just basically crawling up this hill. I'm just steering and there's almost, I don't think there's any wheel slippage. Of course, this is a uh, Goodyear Dura tracks, right? Yep, we have a uh, 33 inch Goodyear Dura track tires on it and 17 inch wheels. And uh, what color is this? Is this a new color? Um, this is a, a new color for us. We have a two tone um, okay. steel, um, light steel. So talk to me about the interior. So you guys upgraded the interior, right? Yeah, we've got some custom stitching on the seats, um, the headrest, and then the front cluster and, and instrument panel has been upgraded with uh, some new um, designs and you know for the power wagon. Now check out the graphics package on the 2017 Power Wagon. Hey Andre, you're probably too young, but man, I was around in the 70s and this feels very 70s to me. How old were you, like 30? <laughs> oh no, 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 Andre, I wasn't that old. So this is a six person configuration here with a kind of a jump seat in the middle, right? Yep. Is there is there a five person configuration in the Power Wagon? Power wagon only comes in the six-person configuration okay. due to the, the manual shifter. Okay. Um, that eliminates the, the ability to have a center console. Well, actually, I kind of like that because, you know, you can bring one more person. You know, yes, if you so have a big family or yep. have some friends. Yeah. Now, this course was prepared by the Texas Auto Riders Group. And it's a little bit too easy for the power wagon. But nonetheless, it tests a lot of the features of the truck. It's rare to find a heavy duty truck with six seats. I mean, you could order one, right? Certainly. But they're not often on the dealership lot. Yep, if you have kids, you can fit three car seats in back too. Yeah, and this is leather seating. Leather seating. Not the work truck, right, configuration? Exactly. But it comes in the tradesman, right? It comes in the tradesman as well.
So I don't know if you could hear that, but uh, the uh, Forerunner and the Little Renegade crunched. And the TRD Pro hit its uh, ass on the uh, dirt as well. And that's the difference in the power wagon, basically. The fact that uh, what you have is a truck that has ultimate ground clearance. In that way, ultimate ability to tackle the hardest stuff. Of course, this isn't that hard, as I'm sure Andre knows. Now for 2017, you got the nicer interior, you got some exterior tweaks on the Power Wagon. It's gonna be available in the first quarter of 2017, and you can start ordering at the end of 2016. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world reviews, and of course, first drive in the Power Wagon. Hey Andre, where do they click to see another video? You know, you could click up here for another video and down here to subscribe.